Okay, so today we're going to be doing uh, some facial hair, making reusable facial hair. So um, we're going to be using crepe hair and creating, um, I'm going to do a goatee. Um, so what you're going to need is crepe hair, um, uh, applicator sponge, liquid latex, scissors, and tool, and then a uh, blow dryer to help with speed. So um, the first step is cutting a piece of tulle. I've cut a piece here that fits over my chin, so it's not dangling over the edges. Fits pretty well right there. And then also cut a little bit of the crepe hair off. So I've already pulled that off, cut it, and then ironed it. So if you want it to be straighter than this, you can iron it straighter um, if you want it wavier or curlier, you can leave it curlier, but I just left it kind of wavy there. And it's pretty long because I can always cut it shorter. Um, I can't really make it longer, so. Um, and this is as much as I've got at this point. Um, so I'm gonna start, um, make sure that I'm doing this right. I'm going to start by putting a layer of liquid latex on my skin to adhere the beard piece to. You don't want to make it too thick because it'll take forever to dry, but you also don't want it too thin because then you can't work with it. Make sure all the edges are down. Okay, so once that's dry, you can start at the bottom of where you're working. So if you're doing a mustache, that would be just right along the lip here and doing layers going up. Here, I'm going to start down here and just put a layer of latex. On the bottom here. And pull off a little bit of crepe hair and attach that using the latex. going to need more crepe hair than this. But you don't want to put too much on because otherwise it's not going to be sticking to anything if you put too thick of a layer on. Alright. And then do the next layer up. Oh, that was a lot of latex. Yeah, I got way too much latex there. And you need to work pretty quickly with this. <sighs> because it does dry pretty fast.
This is a tie in man. Oh god. Okay, third layer. So yeah, I needed to go press more crepe hair. You want to let the liquid latex dry just enough so that it's actually tacky, but not so much that it's no longer sticky. getting kind of matted up there. I think I'm just going to do one more layer right under the lip there. So I realize this looks like a bit of a mess, but once it dries, I can style it more. I can trim it. Okay, so now that it's dried, I'm going to use my hair scissors and do some shaping, trimming. I'm just taking off a little bit at a time, trying to pull any like loose hairs that aren't actually stuck in. it up and try to think of this as a three-dimensional thing so it's not just flat this way but it also has dimension um, and it's coming out a little bit and has some layers So comb gently. You can comb it out a little bit. I think I need a matching mustache now. But yeah, so that's the the look. 
so once this is completely dry, I can peel this off and then I can reapply it to the face um, using spirit gum and then use spirit gum remover to take it off again. Yeah. Okay, one last little piece. So when I took it off my face, this is what it looks like. Um, it has kind of this weird edges here. So I'm just going to use my scissors. I'm gonna trim that up. Get rid of those extra spaces that, then, that doesn't have hair on it. So it just looks a little neater. And then that'll make applying it a little bit easier. But yeah, there's my little old guy. I think I'm gonna name him Frederick or Freddy. Have fun, y'all. <laughs>